this one. Hey, there we go. Okay, so the first thing is this gold gold NES cartridge. It's just it's just a like a fake shell. There's no actual cartridge in here, but it's a very pretty little item. Look at these uh, like what do you call this? These molded pixel art items on the back. It's very cool. I like it a lot. Uh, let's see, what else? Actual game switch case. It's just, uh, it's just a switch case. That's what it looks like on the inside. There's these little uh, pins. You get these for like completing different challenges. They're kind of like achievements in the game. Next thing is this. I'm not sure which one of the two bonus things this is. Ah, this is the these like artwork art cards. You knew it was fake because there are only two real gold cartridges on NES. Dargoon, you know that do you know what you you must know about the the Nintendo World Championships from back in the day, right? Uh, they gave out a gold cartridge like this to the winners so like these cartridge real cartridges like this are out there they don't have this cool 80s grid on them though this is awesome you got yours today but you can't open it yet you're not home uh no you're kidding gotcha gotcha Dorgun. uh optimus optimus when you when you get home you need to jump on and create some ghost data for me to play against Okay, so it's basically just art cards of the box art for all of the games that are represented. And on the back, there's uh, the characters and pixel art. So there's Super Mario Brothers. There's Legend of Zelda. And we got Link. Metroid. And Samus. Donkey Kong. You know what's interesting is Nintendo, like never shows the arcade version of Donkey Kong. Like, Nintendo tries to, like, cover up the fact that they ever made arcade cabinets. Which is interesting and kind of weird. Like, you know, they always point to the NES version. I mean, it says Arcade Classic Series on here, so at the time that the NES version of Donkey Kong came out, they were not covering up their arcade roots, but, like, here... Like, the arcade version of Donkey Kong is not in here, right? So close to finishing your room, too. All your injuries have healed. I'm glad for that your injuries are healed. There's DK falling over. Uh, Kid Icarus. For, for a lot of these games, this is the closest I'll ever come to owning the boxes <laughs> of these games. So this is kind of cool. Uh, there's Pit. Super Mario Bros. 2. From Super Mario Bros. 2. Excite Bike is in here. Excite Bike was part of the Programmable series. Were there any other games in the Programmable series? Does anyone know? This is really cool. I'm glad you think so, Huami. I think so too. Uh, that's the artwork on the back of Excite Bike. Uh, ice Climber. There's our Ice Climber. What are the names of the Ice Climbers? They have canonical names, don't they? Balloon Fight. Balloon Fighter, Super Mario Brothers 3, Raccoon Mario. This one's kind of cool because, you know, you see the artwork and then the pixel art that is, uh, like, you know, supposed to look exactly like this, right? It's pretty neat. Adventure of Link, the most underrated video game ever made. By the way, earlier today, my five-year-old was was going through some of the challenges here, and he wanted to do all the Zelda 2 ones. I told him he could explore other other games, but he kept he kept going through all the Zelda 2 challenges. I was I was very proud. Uh, lost levels. Luigi, finally, Luigi is represented uh, after four different Mario games, and the last one is Kirby's Adventure. And there's the curve. So those are the those are the art cards, and I want I want to like frame these and hang them up on the wall. Get like a a board, like a photo board kind of deal that could 
hold all of them? That would be really fun, right? What else? Uh-oh, my controller disconnected. Is it gonna reconnect? I hope I don't have to get up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Controller is connected again. Um, oh! The, uh, the cartridge comes with a slipcase, by the way. There's a slipcase for the cartridge. That's fun, right? And it's, got, it's like, uh, shiny. I think the original Nintendo ones, this was not, uh, like a foil here. I think it was just a flat red, but here it's a foil red. Okay, and then... Now you miss the 80s even more! <laughs> the 80s will never die, Dargoon. This is a set of pins. These are like the physical versions of the pins that you win in the game for like your achievements. Uh, so these are pretty neat. There's uh, Super Mario Brothers, Zelda, Metroid, and Donkey Kong. Probably my four my four top Nintendo franchises. Actually. I just love the whole vibe of this of this game. I'm very happy that uh, it can be made. Oh, the very last thing is an acrylic stand for the for the gold part. So I'll show you guys. It just slots into the cart like this, and then. You can stand it up. Look, you guys can read the label very nicely right now. So, this is going in my display case. For sure. 